today in the Daily Dose. The Navajo Treaty of 1868. After years of violent conflicts between the Navajo or Dini people and U.S. forces, including the scorched earth tactics undertaken by Kit Carson, in 1862, U.S. Army General James Henry Carlton ordered all Navajos to be relocated to the Bosque Redondo Reservation near Fort Sumner in what was then the New Mexico Territory. Carlton's order would become known to the Navajo as the Long Walk of 1864, when some nine to 10,000 Navajo and Apache were forced to march 350 miles from their ancestral home near the Four Corners region, where Carlton's assimilation plan for the Navajo envisioned that the Dini people would become farmers instructed in Christianity and other basic American practices. Instead, their new home along the Pecos River proved to be remarkably barren for agriculture, leading many Navajo to die from disease and starvation. After federal subsidies to the Dini people exceeded $2 million, Congress removed Carlton from command and formed the Indian Peace Commission, where Peace Commissioners William Tecumseh Sherman and Samuel F. Tappan at first proposed moving the Navajo to the Indian Territory in what is now Oklahoma. Instead, the Dini, led by Barboncito and Manuelito, opposed resettlement to the Indian Territory, insisting that they be allowed only of going home to their ancestral lands, which centered around Canyon de Chelly in present-day Arizona. In total, 29 Navajo would make their mark on what they called the Old Paper, or Naltsusani in the Navajo, on June 1, 1868 which was ratified by the Senate on June 24th and signed by President Andrew Johnson on August the 12th, allowing the Dini people to return home after four years of deprivation and suffering. In the treaty, the Navajo agreed to stop all raiding and remain on their homelands in Arizona and New Mexico, while the federal government, in turn, would supply the Navajo with farm equipment, seed for planting, and some 20,000 head of livestock. The government also agreed to pay a $10 annual subsidy for 10 years to all Navajo families engaged in farming or mechanical pursuits, as well as 10 years of basic supplies intended to help the Dini people regain a strong foothold in their homeland. The treaty also established formal education for all Dini children aged 6 to 13, while the Dini further agreed not to interfere with any railroad construction through the region. They also agreed that any Dini who committed a crime under federal law would be subject to federal rather than tribal law, making the Navajo Treaty of 1868 a pivotal moment in the Dini Nation's push for self-governance and freedom. And there you have it, the Navajo Treaty of 1868, today on The Daily Dose. Get your nerd on with The Daily Dose. And if you enjoyed today's episode, Share the link with a friend or colleague so that they too can learn something new every day.